Oh, I got something to say. I couldn't wait for Christmas Day to open up this Santa fiend, and that's as far as I got. Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest Needless Unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Uh, today, it's another Christmas treat as we take a look at this Santa fiend from NECA. I don't know why NECA are the only ones who are really knocking it out of the park on Christmas-themed figures this year. Uh, Hasbro's bizarre offerings notwithstanding but obviously this fiend is uh, sitting high atop the christmas figure quality tree uh, i love this packaging and this is actually original artwork by okay i'm gonna mangle his name here basil gogos i feel like it's got to be more complicated than basil gogos so I'm going to say Basil Gagos, and I'm sure you guys in the comments will make fun of me. And that's okay. I don't mind it. I like to be educated here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. So as soon as this was offered, I pre-ordered it from BigBadToyStore.com. Had to have it ASAP. Uh, and then what happened is NECA put it up on their store, as they often do. You can buy it directly from them through Amazon or eBay. So I went ahead and ordered one there too, and I'm going to be giving the other one away as a gift. Uh, so I got this, I think, as early as you can possibly get this. But gorgeous packaging. I, I like the uh, snow here, that original artwork that this figure is based on, hanging out right here. Uh, side of the box, you've got uh, that artwork versus the alternate face that's included, and we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, just really nice looking package. Uh, and then, of course, on the back of the box, you've got a couple more product pictures and misfits. The Fiend is one of the most recognized music mascots of all time, and we are proud to present this special holiday-themed exclusive based on the classic artwork and imagery of the legendary punk band The Misfits. The Fiend comes complete with swappable head and hands so that you can create his classic look or his illustrated appearance in the Basil Gagos artwork. Uh, again, I'm, I'm sorry to uh, Basil, Basil, whatever. Uh, anyway... Awesome, awesome figure. Uh, on the bottom, not only is uh, the original artist credited here, but everybody that worked on this great figure credited on the bottom. And it's always important to me to point this out because I love that NECA does this. So now it is time to bring forth the trusty 1964 box cutter that might need a new blade sooner than later uh, and swipe right through that circular piece of tape and take a look at this guy and see just how uh, joyous he is, I guess. All right. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Misfits. Love them. Uh, they're beyond like, oh, they're my favorite punk band or oh, well, they're, they're just one of my favorite bands. Great for any time. Look at this cool background. I love that it's just, uh, if you look closely, it's actually a photograph of some miniature bushes and a fence, it looks like. Nothing sinister here. It's just straight up, a, a, you know, a, a, the blue tone obviously gives it a certain feel, but like, it's not like it's covered in skulls or anything. It's just a pleasant uh, outdoor Christmassy type background. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, all right. Take a look at the contents. We have the alternate. I was curious to know if this was an alternate head or an alternate swappable face, and it is an entire head. Uh, the alternate hands, which was a nice touch to include them because I think it would have been easy to just include. Uh, oh, here we go. We've got some tabs we got to cut through. So let's pull out our trusty Dollar Tree fingernail clippers. Everyone should have a set in their toy opening area. Cut right through those tabs. Looks like we got a couple more up here around the neck. Uh, I do not know if this figure is going to end up showing up at like Target or your regular retailers. So if you find it online, I recommend you go ahead and order it and don't chance finding it in Target, you know, after the holidays or something. Not that you wouldn't still want this awesome figure, but obviously you want to have this guy ready to go for Christmas uh, on your Christmas toy display or whatever the case may be. Deadly silica gel. Don't eat it, kids. All right, now let's take a look. I love that this is really just the regular Fiend gear. 
the hooded because it looks like he's got the hood underneath the Santa cap. We'll get to that in a moment. But uh, it, it's kind of just his regular gear, but with the furry Santa trim. It's really nice. This is interesting, though. He's rather than lining the entire sleeve with the fur trim, he just has your sort of standard little Santa cuffs there. That's a little odd. Let's, let's go back and take a look at our original art and see if that's specified in any way. Uh, no, that's actually what it looks like in the art. Exactly what it looks like in the art. Take a look at that. So you can see he's got the little furry trim, but then on the on his right hand there, you can see where the bottom portion of the sleeve is just hanging down. So this is completely accurate to what's in this artwork. I love it. Uh, so he has his little furry sleeve. You can see uh, the fat, the fur is a really nice consistency here. It's not flying off when I touch it. Uh, same thing with the velvet of the robe. Uh, this is quality stuff. It's not junky, cheapo velvet. A little pom-pom on the hat. And we have, much like the Santa stripe that I reviewed last week, if you have not watched that, you should go back and watch it. Uh, you've got a wire in the hat, so you can pose that however you want. Uh, maybe he, Maybe he's surprised. Oh, I didn't expect you to catch me out here delivering presents. Uh, or maybe he's just low-key hanging out, having some eggnog fiend. We'll play around with that a little bit later, see what we get. Uh, but looks fantastic. Uh, the Really, the quality of this fabric is, is very, very nice. Actually, you can look underneath there. And I don't know if you guys can tell through video, but if you've dealt with toy scale velvet, I guess you would say, throughout your life, you know that sometimes it feels like a fabric like this does, and sometimes it has just a, um, it doesn't flex like fabric does, you know what I mean? It's the cheapo stuff that just is kind of flat and doesn't have folds and, and, uh, and doesn't hang well. This is the good stuff. This is really, really well made. I'm impressed. Uh, he has got hilariously skinny little legs. I'm sure this, this is just a standard for, uh, this retro cloth style figure because it really it doesn't matter what his legs and his feet look like because he's got the long robe hanging down so you're not going to see those uh what this makes me think of is how cool it would be if uh NECA did a papa figure uh from ghost in the same style i think that would be incredible so looks great tons of articulation uh you know he's not marvel legends articulated but he is uh as much articulation as you need on the fiend as santa claus articulated uh, so let's pop the hat off, and you can see underneath he's got the same hood of NECA's older Misfits figure, or I guess original Misfits figure in the same style, which if you don't have, you should try to get one. Actually, this hood might be a little more snug. Uh, I believe the other one's larger, so this needs to fit under the Santa hat, so that's okay. That's cool, uh, but let's take a look at the detailing here. They have recreated the style of the artwork with the paint job looks phenomenal. It's a really good look, and I cannot tell you for sure. Look at the blood coming out of his mouth right there. What, what a gruesome version of Santa Claus we have here, which of course is NECA's specialty. Uh, and then the hands also with that same nice painted detail, uh, you know, not just skeleton hands. They have that, that look of the original artwork to them. Uh, down to the, the fact that the hands look different. They aren't just uniform between the two hands. Really nice looking. Uh, so it's going to be hard for me to decide whether I want to use this head, and I don't know how easily this is going to come off. I'm going to try and swap them. And it just broke. Wow, that is really disappointing. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, I can't even tell you how little pressure I was putting on that head. Like, that was literally my, my easiest pull. Uh, all right, well, I guess we're going to be looking into getting a replacement fiend or maybe just hanging on to that second one that I had ordered. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other head, I guess. Uh, all right, so classic Misfits looking head, just straight white paint. Looks great. The sculpt is fantastic. Uh, you can see that the teeth, the missing teeth, are actually missing teeth and not just uh, painted black. It's a great head. It's the same head that came with that uh, first Misfits figure, which I still do recommend. Uh, and then the hands, again, 
just straight up skeleton gloves, classic look, look really good painted on the inside and on the out. Really great alternative. Nice to have two looks available for this guy. And then finally, we have the Fiend Sack, which I'm probably going to untie and put something in there to give it a little bit of uh, uh, weight, to give it some dimensionality. Is that a word? I don't know. I just used it. Uh, but it also has a wire in it to allow you to, to sort of pose it out and give it some different shapes and looks and stuff. So that's cool. So... <laughs> there's uh oops oh you know what i can do though is let's just set that on there and uh we'll put his hood up so i can get my preview picture let's see how easy it is to get that hat oh the hat slides right back on no problem at all so that's nice uh so we get the hat on there we go that's uh, not not ideal, but I, I need my picture uh, for the social media sharing that I need to do to promote this guy. Uh, so broken neck aside, really nice looking figure. Highly recommended if you're a fan of the Misfits and a fan of Christmas. Uh, order one today. I don't recommend waiting for him to show up in Target at this late date. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things, and Merry Christmas!